hello everyone in today's video we will do a demo of azure app proxy just a simple demo wherein we will have an internal web app which we will publish to internet with azure app proxy you can publish your internal apps externally without the need of uh, setting up a server in dmz with a public ip so these apps will be accessed over the internet using a connector which we call the app proxy connector which you install on premise which has a connectivity with Azure as well as your on-prem application server. In my environment, I have this server, member server, and I have this internal web page. This web page is accessible over the server name, which is 2016member.django.local. So it's just a simple iOS web page on this one. And I have also created a CNAME for it in my internal DNS so I could access this web page using approxy.anubovinit.co.in so that also works so on my dns i have these two zones this is my internal zone and this is my external zone in which i have created a cname for app proxy and pointing to my internal member web server hosting the iis so if i try to access this website over public internet it will not work so this is one of my windows 10 machine and if i try to browse the website on it it should not work and yeah it doesn't work because this is on internet right now and if i change the setting and move it to intranet which is my internal network i should be able to browse the website yep it's working and now if i go back to internet it should stop working so now what we want is that this machine should be able to access this website whether it's on internet or internet it should not matter so now we will browse to our azure portal in azure portal we will go to azure active directory here we will go to enterprise applications In enterprise applications we will go under application proxy under application proxy we will see the server which is running the app proxy connector in our on-prem but for a demo I will install the connector on uh, another server which is my same server as uh, my iOS is running on and the website is there in order to do that I will click on download connector service and download and install it on this system so this is the wizard we will go through the installation the installation is finished now my azure app proxy connector has been installed on the server and let us refresh the azure portal and see whether it shows up here or not So my Azure App Proxy connector server shows that it is installed on this server as well. So these two servers will act in a round robin fashion. So even if one of them goes down, my App Proxy services uh, will work. Now we will configure our internal app and publish it. So we will go to configure an app here. Provide a name. So you can say internal app one internal URL on which this app works so internally it works on both uh, this app proxy.anubovinit.co.in and also the server name which is 2016 member.django.local so I could put either of those I will use my custom domain name which is anubovinit.co.in and publish it as app proxy so I could use the same URL internally and externally and we will be able to access the website using the same URL pre-authentication I will leave it to Azure AD and not pass through connector group default in which I have uh, my two connectors 
It says to access your application using a custom domain name, you must configure a CNAME entry in your DNS provider, which points to approxy.anubovinit.co.in to this name. So I will copy this and create an entry in my external DNS, which is on GoDaddy. So here is my external DNS. Here I will create entry for app proxy in my anubovinit.co.in zone pointing to app proxy dash v2 anubsortmail.msproxy.net msapproxy.net and save it. Now my DNS entry has been created and we will click on add here and our app will get added. This is a custom URL which I am using my custom domain name so I will have to add a certificate here also with the subject name of uh, approxy.anubovinit.co.in in my case i have internal ca so i will use a certificate from my internal ca but in production environment you can get a public certificate and that is a good idea because that certificate is already trusted by all the machines in my case i will get the certificate from internal ca and add the trusted root cert on my client machines where i'm testing so as my machines are part of domain so they already trust my internal ca so i will not have any problem but in production go with the public certificate or if you are going with internal then use intune to deploy their trusted root certificates on the machine or maybe any other method so if they are part of domain they will already trust your internal certification authority otherwise deploy the trusted root cert as well so on my machine I have opened the certificate stores so I will go to request new certificate already I have created this app proxy certificate template which is a copy of web server template and allowed the private key to be exported so here I will put my DNS name which is my custom domain name for accessing the website it in general I will specify a friendly name at proxy cert and apply it then I will enroll this certificate now my certificate is showing here I will have to export it with the private key If we don't add the certificate in Azure app, then we won't be able to browse to this website using the custom domain name. I have saved it in my downloads folder. So our app has been added now. We will add the certificate here. So we will go back to our Azure AD. go to enterprise applications and look for our internal app one here we will go under application proxy and click on certificate select the certificate which we just created and this is the certificate and provide the password So now all the settings are done uh, only thing we need to do here is assign it to users so I will assign it to a user group which my user is part of so that user can access this website externally so this is the user group of which my user is already part of so I will assign this app so now let us try to access this website externally here is my Windows 10 machine which is connected to internet so if I try to ping the URL it should resolve into a public IP so it is resolving into a public IP and not an internal one so let us try browse this website so we will have to provide the username 
for which we have allowed this uh, website access now I am able to access the website externally from a machine which is uh, connected to internet if I move this machine back to intranet not internet then also it should work but this time it should work over the private IP not the public IP so let me try pinging it now let me do IP config flush DNS first now ping. so it is now resolving to a private IP and this time it should not ask me for username password because it's an internal website and it doesn't require any username and password the username and password it asked only for Azure AD authentication it is HTTP internally not HTTPS so now it is working internally as well if we want we can uh, attach the same certificate to our internal IAS server and we would be able to access it using HTTPS internally as well so this was a small demo on Azure App Proxy. Later on, we will explore more features of it in our next videos. I hope you liked this video. Please uh, like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.